welcome back guys today we'll be continuing electrostatics so today we'll be continuing the second part of coulomb's law so today we'll see the coulomb's law in vector form so i am writing the formula directly f vector as you know force is a vector quantity that will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught for free space q1 q2 upon r square times r unit vector this will denote the direction of the radius or distance between the forces now we will see some limitations of coulomb's law so we will see some limitations so uh, we so there is a history behind coulomb's law and gravitational law coulomb scientist was inspired by newton's gravitational law so there are some limitations so number one we have it was an experimental law it was an experimental law number two it holds only f it holds it holds true only for point charges so if a body is has dimens dimensions bigger so it can it is not possible or not true so and number three it is valid for it is valid for distance between the objects must be greater than 10 by minus 15 meter so these were the three limitations and for this reason suppose if the distance is if r is less than 10 by minus 15 meter then nuclear forces come into play nuclear forces come into action so the distance must be greater than equal to 10 by minus 5 meter 15 it is 15 now there are some basic properties or characteristics so properties so number one electrostatic force acts force acts along the line of joining the two bodies line uh, acts along the line joining the center of the point charges point charges of the bodies so it is a central force so as now next we will see it is a conservative force it is a conservative force number three electrostatic force is stronger than gravitational force electrostatic force is stronger than gravitational force number four both coulomb law and gravitational law are inverse square law are inverse square laws electrostatic force is a two bodied force so this is common now now we'll see the permittivity now we'll discuss about permittivity so relative permittivity this is also known as dielectric constant dielectric constant or SIC epsilon not R epsilon R so now we'll discuss so relative permittivity is defined as the absolute permittivity of the medium that is epsilon upon absolute permittivity of vacuum absolute permittivity of vacuum that is epsilon naught 
this er turns out to be epsilon upon epsilon naught and this is a uh, dimensionless quantity because it is a ratio of two physical quantities and this is important as we know that epsilon will always be greater than epsilon naught because air is the lightest medium and other medium will be heavier than that so er relative epsilon relative permittivity will always be greater than 1 because this ratio is greater than 1 see this will look something like this so this turns out to be greater than 1 so and er depends upon the medium er depends upon depends on the medium and it depends upon the temperature so temperature is the main factor here temperature so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you